All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to uh, deal with this game loop a little more. This is our main game loop. Up here, we kind of set the game up, and then down here, uh, we're getting input from the user. So remember, if they enter Q, uh, it exits. Uh, so what we want is we want, uh, we're gonna do the W, A, S, D for up, down, left, right, that sort of thing. So we are going to call a function and we'll just call it handle input. And we're gonna pass it this char and we'll pass it the u the um, uh, the user, so the the player. Probably should have called that player or something, but whatever. We'll keep it there. So it's gonna be a function that to declare up here. Int handle input, and it takes an int input, or it's a character, but being saved as an integer and the player pointer, which we're calling user. So, uh, one thing is, I don't know why I put return zero. It should be return one. Zero is false, so it returns one on success. And we haven't really done anything with that, but just a habit I've gotten into is if if there's any chance of anything going wrong, we can return a zero and then we can test if it's returning zero. But anyways, don't worry about that now. So we're doing handle input. So let's put this up here. So int handle input, int input and player pointer user. So we'll do a switch statement. So switch, I'm gonna switch it on the input. And case, they enter, enter W. We want the capital as well, just in case they have caps lock on or something like that. Then break. And we'll just copy and paste that. Four times. So this is move up, W. This is move down, I guess we'll say. So that will be S. And this will be move left. Which would be A. This will be move right, which would be D. Okay, so then we want default where we do nothing. So when the user hits W, we want to redraw them in the up position. So so we're going to create a new function called uh, player move. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass it the new coordinates to move that player to. So we can access the current location of the user by using our struct. So 
y position. We'll pass it. And we'll also pass it the x position. And then the user as well. Now, since we're moving up, the y is going to decrease by 1. So that's going to be the general format that we do here. So here, instead of you're moving down, so you go up 1 on the y axis. Uh, to move left, that would be minus 1 for the x position, I believe. And then plus 1 to move right. Okay, so let's write that function now. So again, int player move. And so this is going to be int x, sorry, y, and int x. And then uh, player pointer user. So basically, we're just going to be taking this. And uh, well, let's rewrite it. So we're going to move print w. And so the when we currently run the game, the user is an at symbol, right? We want to replace that with a floor symbol, which is a dot. So we're going to move to the current position of the user. So that's going to be user x position, sorry, y position. I always think of it as an x, y, but Ncurses does it y, x. So it keeps throwing me off. OK, so we're moving to the current position of the user. And we're going to replace it with a dot. So that's like a floor position. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to update the user position. So user, um, again, I always do x first. x is now equal to the new x position. And the user y position is equal to y. Okay, so now we've changed where the user is. So we're just going to redraw, just copy this. And now this is where the user is at. So you put an at symbol. And then to put the cursor back, we just do a move. So we just do x. Well, we'll do user y position. Let's do that. So uh, we need to declare this function up here. Starting to get a little long. We'll need to split things up very soon. But um, OK, so let's see if that compiles. Probably won't. That's OK. So gcc main.c dash. Oh, it does. Look at that. Look at that. I'm impressed. OK, so there's it's drawn. Now we hit D, it moves over. As you can see, it just replaces the last position that the user was with a dot. Um, so we need to check in the next tutorial when you hit into a wall, like you don't want to be able to go over it. So that'll be the next thing we do. But for now, that's pretty, uh, that's working quite well. Um, Q to exit. Uh, one last thing we can do, it's not really necessary, but in our player setup here, we have all these, uh, we call these functions and we set the X position, the Y position. So we have these four lines. We can just replace them with one call to player move. So what we'll do, um, I don't need to copy that. But, so we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of this. And then we'll just call player move, and we'll pass it where we want the player to start. So it's 14, 14, 
and then just pass it the new player. And then that will Now that won't quite work. Okay, what's going to happen now is the um, no. Okay, so we haven't set the user Y position yet. So we can't get rid of those first two lines. My mistake. But we can get rid of these two. Um, just to make things a little. A little cleaner, I guess. will actually make the program slightly slower, but that's okay. Compile. That needs to be new player. Run it, and there you go. See, I'll show you if if we didn't have these, it's not a big deal. But if we didn't have those, and we run it, see the uh, the H gets replaced with a dot. Not a big deal, but kind of, I don't like having these lines up here, but uh, we'll clean the code up as we go. Well, that's it for this tutorial. And in the next one, we will get some collision handling going on.